Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are unbagging my Ipsy Studios bag for the month of April. I got my Glam Bag and my Glam Bag Plus, and I cannot wait to see what we got. So uh, this is the card this month, and the theme is Keep Growing. April's Glam Bag is made with recycled fabric. Spring is here, and just like you, the earth has come alive. Take this month to plant big ideas, nourish your skin, and live a little greener because it's your season to bloom. So let's go ahead and start with our Ipsy Glam Bag. I think this is so cute. It's daisies and, you know, it's springtime, so it definitely reminds me of that. And then it has a little daisy tab on there. Super, super cute. Um, yeah, so... One of the first products I see, it looks like a duo. This is the Aceology Hydro Glow and Deep Hydration Watermelon Eye Mask. And we have a set of two. I actually really enjoy eye masks um, for deep puffing and just kind of cooling and relaxing and they're one of my favorite masks to do. So that's super exciting. The next item we have is Shades by Shan. This is actually a brand that we are seeing a lot of in Ipsy bags. I've gotten a lot of products from them. So this is the Hydrating Primer. Now, when it comes to primers, I typically go towards like um, pore filling primers. I have a lot of pores right here, a lot of pores on my nose. Um, and I just moisturize really, really well. So I'll probably be passing this along for a giveaway. Speaking of giveaways, I do have one going on right now. If you guys would like to enter, uh, I will have that in the uh, description box down below. So the next item we have is from Wonder Beauty. This is their Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I don't know how many mascaras they have. If this is the only one, I actually think I heard really good things about this. Now, I have never tried it personally myself, so this is super exciting because I do love trying new mascaras. Uh, so the next item, this is the AM to PM Velvet Retractable Eyeliner. And I'm pretty, oh wait, nope, it's not black. <laughs> I thought for a second it was, but I think it's like a purplish color. So Ipsy's really been kind of like stepping out of the box and it's sending like different color eyeliners and I really like that because I'm actually really starting to get into them. <coughs> that was not smart. <laughs> That's okay. It's like, okay. It is such a deep purple that it looks black, um, but it really is like a deep purplish color. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera uh, if you see that hint of purple in there or if it just looks black to you, but definitely interesting. Hmm. Okay, uh, and that is a full size, so that's not bad. Uh, the last item we have is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. Um, dew drops. Now I actually think I have this like the full full bottle so if I do then this will go in a giveaway um, but Glow Recipe has some really amazing skincare. Oh I love their avocado mask. Um, it is one of my absolute favorites and I just their um, what is it? <laughs> their ultra fine mist. Oh I love this stuff so much. The way uh, really quickly, let's go over the bag. So we got the dew drops from uh, Glow Recipe. We got the two eye packs, uh, the hydrating primer, the mascara, and the liner. So all in all, I think this is a pretty decent bag. Definitely items that I would use, and I'm excited for. Okay, so for the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, whoa, I'm knocking everything down. This is the bag this month. Once again, it is daisies, but this one is blue. Super cute as well. I can definitely feel that the bag uh, has like, I don't know, it has a certain texture to it, like you could tell that's recyclable, which I think is awesome. Okay, so the first item is from Dr. Brandt. Uh, this is a pH balanced yogurt cleanser. Ooh, that sounds nice. I love getting cleansers um, because obviously I have to wash my face every day. So this is super fun. 
This is the bottle right here. And it says it's for all skin types. Get rid of excess oil, makeup, pollution, and everyday grime. Oh, I cannot wait to put this in my bathroom. Let's open this up. I hope it smells good. I hope it smells good. I don't smell anything. <laughs> Maybe my sniffer's not working because it's springtime and there's pollen everywhere. Ooh. Okay, I really don't smell anything. So, I mean, that's not necessarily bad to me because I would rather not have like a strong smell versus something that stinks. <laughs> So I'm super excited for this. Okay, so the next item we have, this is a tea tree and aloe mask scrub. Tea tree oil is actually supposed to be very, very good for you. So that's exciting. It says it's triple action clay mask, foam cleanser, and a deep exfoliator. All those things in one? That's kind of, I've never heard of that. Um, Treat, cleanse, and exfoliate. A multitasking three-in-one facial cleanser and a powerhouse for blemished skin. It starts as a treatment mask um, with, I can't say the word, some kind of clay <laughs> to detoxify and absorb oils and smooth skin. Then it transforms into a gentle foam cleanser infused with tea tree oil to remove dirt, impurities, and mattify. Natural Natural Echo Beads, Deep Clean, Exfoliate, and Polish Skin. The Finishing Touch, Aloe Hydrates, Soothes, and Nourishes Skin. And it says for all skin tones. Apply an even thin layer to clean dry skin, avoiding the eye and lip area. Leave for three to five minutes, splash face with water to activate, massage into skin, rinse, and for best results, use twice a week. That sounds really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys ever heard of this or use this or have have had have heard of something like this? Um, I would love to know down in the comments below. That's interesting. I'm, I might have to give this one a try. The next item is brushes. Yay! I love brushes. <laughs> um, obviously, eye brushes are some of my top favorites, but. Every once in a while, I do love a good face brush, which it looks like what this is what this is. So these are so freaking cute. They have like little daisies all over them. I love that. It's so pretty. And it doesn't say what each one is. So this, oh, that feels amazing. Oh, take that off. Oh, oh, that's different. That's like a... A blending brush but also like a, a stifling or stifling stifling uh, I can't say it <laughs> stifling brush at the same time can you see that that's interesting I I don't think I have a brush like this in my collection it would have been nice if it was just a blending brush but it has those long bristles on there so that's that's interesting okay this is a flat brush like a powdered brush for uh, foundation and this, hmm, that hair is coming out. This would be a very nice contour brush. Well, we might be giving all these a try, especially this one. Like I can see where the, all the other bristles are, right? That it's a blending brush, but it's just. Maybe it's a good diffusing brush. Maybe that's what it's meant to do. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look. Can you see? What do you guys think about that? That's interesting. <laughs> but I do love getting brushes and uh, these will be good and these will be put to use. So <clears throat> the next item and the last item is from M Mishno Beauty. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I murdered it. <laughs> this is a blush palette. Okay. Nice. I actually really enjoy blushes. And I'm always looking for like a good 
not pinky blush, but like a nudish pink blush. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like my number one blush that I use more than anything is the Tarte Exposed Blush. That blush is heaven. It goes with any look. It is absolutely stunning. And so is this palette. Look how pretty that is. Let me take this off. Okay. So these are the shades. Definitely shades that I would use. Kind of gives me like summery vibes a little bit. Okay, so let's do some swatches. So we got the pink, which I can get down with a pink as long as it's not like, ooh, <laughs> that's bright. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, this one, Madame. Oh, that's pretty. That's like a peachy. That's, that, that's my jam right there. That's beautiful. And these feel amazing on my fingers. Um, I can't pronounce this one's name. Oh, that's beautiful too. Oh my gosh. That's pretty. I love that. And then the last one, Magnif, man, what is it? Magnificate? Magnific Kick. I can't. Why can't I say these words and these names? Alright, so this is like a shimmery blush. But it's gorgeous. That would be a beautiful lid shade, you guys. Like, for real. I'll give you guys a close up. Aren't they stunning? Oh, they are so pretty. I actually don't have any blush on and I kind of want to put one on. Okay, I think we're going to do this third one. Let's do the third one. And we are going to use one of our new brushes. All right. It's a little bit big, but we're going to just try and use this one. Just kind of tap it in the middle. I have a lot of redness in my face anyway, and I don't have any foundation on, so I kind of feel like a clown. But if I had foundation on and I had my sponge, I would definitely like tap that out and just like lighten it up some. That's one of the tricks I use is I take my foundation sponge and I just kind of, you know, blend it. But going to take a little bit off. Now that looks better. Now I feel like I want to add some highlight. <laughs> okay. So this I actually got in my Ipsy last month and I tore this box all to high heck. So Let's open this up again and go ahead and give this a try. I didn't know if I was going to keep this or if I was going to uh, pass it on. And this is the MOT highlighter. Did I say blush earlier? I totally meant highlighter. Okay. We're going to do use our other new brush right here. So you can use this for blush or bronzer, but we're going to use it for highlighter. Kissed moment on the on the cheek. Mm. 
don't know if you can see that. Mm -mm. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's actually really, really pretty. I wish I would have had foundation on. Just trying to keep it simple. Okay, so really quickly. Oh, my hair is completely falling. I can't do messy buns anyway. <laughs> it looks atrocious. So uh, let's really quickly go over everything. So we got the blush palette, which is really pretty. I love the shades in here. Uh, even this shimmer shade, I can definitely use it as an eye shade. So really excited for that. Um, the brushes, super excited for these. I love brushes. I love the little daisy handles. I think that's so cute. I can't wait to use this for a contour. I think this is like going to be a really good contour brush. And then the very interesting mask, cleanser, and exfoliator all in one. This is going to be really exciting to try. And then we got the Dr. Brandt yogurt cleanser. Super excited for this. Um, I actually do have a couple different Dr. Brandt products and I really enjoy those. I love cleansers. I use them all the time. So this is perfect for me. And why do I feel like I'm missing something? So, okay. I think you're supposed to have like five products, right? So we got the cleanser, which is one. Uh, we got this one, which is two. The brushes, which is three. And the blush, which is four. What else am I missing? Did it fall out? Oh, yep, we are missing one thing. Sorry, it fell out into the box. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so this is from House Laboratories. Nice. This is Le Riot Lip Gloss in the shade Blaze. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Oh, sticky. Oh, it's very sticky. Oh, that's such a pretty shade. Okay, you know what? We're wiping this off and trying this. She is so pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty, you guys. Now, because of the stickiness, I probably couldn't wear this to work. Just because it might leave that like that icky line uh, throughout the day. So pretty. Mm. Ah, I love it. Okay, so <laughs> once again, one more time, we got the blush palette. We got the uh, House Laboratories lip gloss. Such a beautiful color. Uh, we got the mask, cleanser, exfoliator all in one. We got the Dr. Brandt cleanser. And of course we got the makeup brushes. So yes, I think this is a really fun box with some interesting items in here. I cannot wait to see what I get in my boxes that are paid by me. <laughs> Those will definitely be fun, especially because my paid boxes have been beating my PR boxes. So we'll have to see what this month brings. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give me a big old thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe before you go because I would love to have you. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.